You are now listening to Smoke After Dark. <laughs> In the outback of Massachusetts, and not Australia, there lies a modern marvel with a treacherous past. <laughs> has more stories than bricks. Hoosac is an Algonquian term for a place of stone. This 4.75 mile tunnel is not only active, it has an active imagination. <laughs> the building of the Hoosac Tunnel began in 1851 and took 24 years to complete. In this time, a startling number of workers died or disappeared while constructing the Hoosac Tunnel. However, their stories have reappeared throughout the ages, tales linked to suspicion and speculations of foul play have given the Hoosac Tunnel the reputation of a haunted location. The weather can be unsure in March, and I have always felt the unusual can strike when the weather is unsure. In the year of 1865, three explosive experts used nitroglycerin to blast through and create more room for construction of the Hoosac Tunnel. Two of the men didn't make it out during the blast. Ringo Kelly was the third man whom survived. People believe Ringo deliberately set the charges off and killed the other men, all stemming from a dispute on the job. Ringo Kelly had vanished, and two months had passed since the accident. In the mystic month of May, workers stumbled upon a gruesome sight. Ringo Kelly's body lay cold in the same spot where the other two men he was accused of killing laid. The cause of death was reported as strangulation. Many people believe evil spirits from the nearby Shire, which is also haunted, had struck revenge for the two men. There was a specific disaster in history that took place in 1867 that adds to the dark lore of the Hoosac Tunnel. On a brisk Saturday afternoon, October 17th to be exact, is the date where 13 people met horrible deaths. Makes you wonder if this is where the 13 Ghost film derives some of its title from. Some people also point to Halloween being so close as to why there was so much superstition in the air during this time. These 13 men were building a central shaft in the tunnel to promote better ventilation. You have workers digging east and west at this time in intervals because it's hard to breathe. A building nearby that was used for materials on the job contained a sizable amount of flammable liquid. A spark started a fire and caused utter chaos and destruction. Four of the men worked to put the fire out, but it was too little, too late. Equipment and debris rained down on the men, trapping them below. A man named Thomas Mallory 
was lowered below to search for survivors a few times. On his last trip, he had made out his will. He barely made it back himself, stating nobody would be able to breathe down below. After a year had passed and more attempts from rescuers uncovered more of the covered ground, they did find the men who were trapped below. They had found a way to survive for some time using a raft to avoid the floodwaters. Ultimately, it proved futile. This would cause a batch of workers to quit. Also, pressure and scrutiny would come down on the Hoosack Tunnel project from high-ranking public figures of the time. One future Supreme Court justice, in particular, by the name of Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr., who impolitely named the Hoosack Tunnel project the Great Boar. Workers gave the tunnel the nickname the Bloody Pit. The Hoosack Tunnel was a major political issue for the local residents. People were split over the construction of the tunnel. The majority rule would prevail and the tunnel would continue its construction for quite some time until its final completion. A staggering 180 workers were said to have died or gone missing while working on the Hoosack Tunnel. Numerous ghost sightings have been recorded throughout the years, leaving the Hoosack Tunnel's legacy a ghastly one after all. <laughs>